This is ChatGPT Apps. You click Create App, tell ChatGPT what the app does, it writes all the code, then you can just access and use your app. But the craziest part is that ChatGPT doesn't even have this feature. You see, for the past two years, I built a Chrome extension called Ultra that unlocks hidden abilities inside ChatGPT to help automate my work. But this ChatGPT app building feature is one of the most powerful things we built so far. I actually use it all the time to create custom apps to automate different parts of my life. With this feature, you can go from a simple prompt to a working app in less than five minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you six different apps, a business dashboard, a seating chart app, a video feedback app, a time zone converter, a to-do list app, and a YouTube chapter creator. Let's jump into ChatGPT and start building. So the first app we're gonna build is a business dashboard. I sell these AI courses on a platform that doesn't have analytics. They just provide raw sales data and CSV downloads. I want an analytics app that will keep track of everything where I can just upload these CSV files. This is the prompt where I asked ChatGPT to build a dashboard app that stores my course sales data from CSV uploads. It lets me drag and drop CSVs, save them to local storage, and updates the dashboard instantly. The dashboard shows total sales per course, monthly charts, and a dropdown to filter by month. Okay, so we click on apps, create app, let's call this business CRM from course data. Select an emoji, press save. Select one step build out, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Select GPT-5 thinking and paste in our prompt. ChatGPT starts thinking and planning our app. Then it writes all the code. And as soon as the app is done, you will see a preview on the right side. Let's press full page preview and test it out. So here are the CSV files we're going to upload. As you can see, they contain all the raw sales data. Let's drag and drop the first one. It instantly populates a table showing us how many sales we have for every course. Then when we scroll down, we can see the data organized in a graph. Now let's drag and drop another CSV file. As you can see, the table instantly updates and adds the new sales data. When we scroll down, we can see the sales by month graph is also updated. This is incredibly powerful because now you can turn your raw data into an interactive visual dashboard. The next app we're going to build is gonna be for adding timestamped comments to videos. This will allow me to provide feedback to my video editor. Until recently, I actually been using this app called Frame where it literally does the exact same thing I'm looking to build. I've been paying $50 a month for this app since I need two seats. This is the prompt where I asked ChatGPT to make an app that lets you load a video, watch it, and add notes with timestamps. You can jump back to any spot, edit or delete notes, and export them all as a text file. So let's click Create App. Let's call this Feedback on a Video. Select an emoji and press Save. Select the same options as before and paste in our prompt. ChatGPT codes up the app and then you can instantly preview it. Let's press full screen preview. I drag and drop a video. Let's add a comment to fix this part. I don't like how this part looks. Change the lighting here. Let's press export to TXT. As you can see, all the comments are organized by timestamp. Okay, the next app is something I need for my YouTube videos. I often need to add chapters to my videos, and the only way to do this is to include timestamps with chapter names in the descriptions. I wanna build an app to make that easier and more visual for me. This is the prompt where I ask ChatGPT to build a chapter creator that plays your videos right in the browser. You can drag and drop a video, scrub through it, and add breakpoints with titles as you watch. Then just hit download TXT to get all your timestamp notes in one clean text file. Again, we click on create app. Let's call this YouTube chapter description creator. Select all our options and paste in the prompt. ChatGPT then writes all the code for the app. As soon as it's done, we press on full page preview, drag and drop a video, scrub to a specific place in the video and click add breakpoint. Let's call this second use case. Then we scrub the timeline and create another chapter called third use case. And then the final chapter will be outro. As soon as you're done, you can press download TXT and then paste all this right into the YouTube description. The next app is gonna help with creating seating charts for events. This is the prompt where I ask ChatGPT to make an app that lets you add people, build tables, and place 
everyone where you want. You can drag tables around and see guests by clicking spots. It all happens visually, like arranging a real event on screen. Let's click Create App, put down Seating Chart App for the name, select all our options, and paste in the prompt. Then ChatGPT codes up the app, and as soon as it's done, we press on Full Page Preview. Let's click Manage Attendees and add Jack, Rob, and Michael. Then we can press on a seat and assign it to Ada. This is one we will assign to Rob. And for the next chair, let's put down Michael. We can also add a table. Let's select square, add a table. We can move it around. Let's press add a table again and add a rectangular table with two seats at the ends. We can move that table into position as well. Okay, the next app is a bit more simple. I want a visual time zone converter. I'm in Toronto, but I work with people on the West Coast and in Europe. This is the prompt where I ask ChatGPT to make a slide marker that moves along Toronto's day from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. in 30 minute steps. As you slide, it shows matching time in Los Angeles and Paris, including if it's the next or previous day. Let's create the app. Let's call this Interactive Time Zone Visualizer. Select all our options and paste in the prompt. Then ChatGPT writes all the code for the app. As soon as it's done, we press on Full Page Preview. Now I can visually slide around a marker for my time zone to see the time on the West Coast and in Europe. This is super useful for scheduling calls with different people in different time zones. For the final app, we're gonna build something a little bit more complicated. I want a custom to-do list app that 100% aligns with how I work. This is the prompt where I ask ChatGPT to build a simple to-do list app that runs in the browser. It lets you plan today's tasks, track time, and drag things around. There's a backlog to organize ideas, a focus mode for deep work, and it also fits into one clean page. Let's paste in the prompt, ChatGPT codes everything up, and as soon as it's done, let's press full page preview. We can now drag tasks around. We can add new tasks with time estimates. We can press play to enter focus mode and track how much time each task takes. When we complete tasks, it shows a nice confetti animation. Then we can add a spacer called bonus tasks. We can open up the backlog and drag a few tasks into it. We can even press edit and add more features. Let's ask ChatGPT for an option to color code the task cards. Press send. It modifies the code for our app. Let's test out the changes. I press the three dots and I can make this task yellow. Let's make this one red. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Now I can build apps with just a single prompt that are 100% custom to how I do my work. So you're probably wondering, how do I upgrade my ChatGPT with Ultra? And what is the cost? So upgrading your ChatGPT is just a one-click Chrome extension install. You will see your ChatGPT instantly transform and get all this new functionality, like multi-step prompting, where you can build a long flow of prompts and complete a large project with just one click. There's a prompt library sidebar where you can tell it what you do for a living, and it goes out and generates prompts to automate your job. We also have forms where you build a custom ChatGPT interface to align with your task and hook it up to a multi-step flow, perfect for automating repetitive work. It also allows ChatGPT to break out of the chat window and be your assistant across the web, talk to YouTube videos, write your emails, work inside your documents, and do your spreadsheets. So how much is this upgrade gonna cost? I mean, software that just unlocks ChatGPT and spreadsheets costs $19 a month. AI assistants go for $25 a month. These are literally just two of dozens and dozens of features we have with Ultra. So you're probably thinking we charge $50 a month or even $100 a month. The reality is actually exactly the opposite. My goal with this software is to make using AI for work accessible to as many people as possible. This is why for people watching this video today, we set up a special 50% off discount link. You can get Ultra for $67 a year instead of the much higher regular price by going to getultra.ai slash go or by clicking the link in the description. I'm looking forward to getting your feedback on the software and hearing about all the amazing things you guys are doing with it.